Hello and Namaste everyone. I am Chintan Patel, a solution architect at AWS. Today we will see Amazon Q's capabilities in Amazon Connect. Amazon Connect is omni-channel cloud contact center. Now let's start with what is Amazon Q. Amazon Q is a new generative AI power assistant that is specifically designed for work to tailor and can be tailored to your business to have conversations, solve problems, generate contents and take actions. Now, how it can help in Amazon Connect? It can be used to generate a real time responses that can be used by your agents while they are on call with the customers. Agent can also search information quickly across your company's content like SOPs, FAQs, and, and, and any other internal documentations. Let's consider a sample scenario to better understand the capability of Amazon Q in Connect. Any company is operating a contact center to provide technical supports to its employees. Employees can call the customer care to receive an assistant with a common issues like resetting passwords, upgrading operating systems, returning a defective hardware, and resolving other general technical problems. On contact center side, company has a great documentation related to these common issues. These documents has been given to agent while responding to these common issues, agent usually puts an employee on hold, find the relevant documentation, and then continue with the steps to resolve the issues as described in the documentations. Now with this scenario, let's see how Amazon Q can be helpful. Uh, we can start with an uploading documents to an S3 bucket. Amazon Q can access these documentations to a SIDS agent while they are on call with an employee. Let's look at the demo where Amazon Q can be very helpful to an uh, agent while providing the customer support. This is an agent workspace, workspace where agent can accept or reject the call. On your right hand side, Amazon Q is, has been loaded and ready to help the agent. Amazon Q would be using the same SOP document that we have uploaded to an S3. And these are the same SOP documents uh, that are being referred by agent while on the call with the customer. Now, let me pretend as the customer and call the customer care. Thank you for calling. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. So as you can see, and the agent has receiving the call. So let uh, agent accept the call. So agent has accepted the call. Now as a customer, let me ask a question. Hello. I would like to reset my password. Can you help me with that? As you can see, the Amazon Q is listening the conversation between customer and agent and understanding the question uh, what being which is being asked by customer. Now it is providing the response as well as the solution. Now agent can ex read, read to those uh, response and continue the conversation with the customer so this will save a lot of time for an agent and customer uh, agent is happy uh, because he got an sop document uh, and steps right away without searching through a pile of documents customer is happy uh, because he got responses right away rather than uh, going on hold and waiting for maybe um, two three minutes Let's look at the steps of how to integrate Amazon Q into Amazon Connect. I am at Amazon Connect screen. 
I would open uh, one of the instance where I would like to add Amazon Q. Uh, I would click on Amazon Q. Uh, if you look at here, I do not have uh, any domain, so I will add the domain. I'll give any name. So let's say test domain one. Uh, it is recommended to create a new AWS KMS key. So I will click on that. Uh, that will open a new screen. I will keep the default on step one. On step two, I have to give some name. So let me give a name connect test domain. And the description is optional. So I would go next. Uh, again, here I will keep default and click on next. Step four also I will keep default and click on next. In the step five, you have to do uh, some modifications on the key policy. I will add another step here. And this is something I would give it in a video description. And after you do that, you can just click on finish. And that will create the another key here. If now I will go back to the original screen. I will select the key which I have just created and uh, then click on add domain let's integrate our s3 bucket in this domain for that you have to click on add integration uh, click on create new integration uh, select s3 from the source give unique name uh, select the bucket Now you can create a new KMS key using all the defaults. Since I already have it, I will select the one. Click on next and add integration. So that will create my integration here. Now let's complete the final step. For that, you have to come to uh, Amazon Connect portal. Uh, so this is my Connect portal. Uh, let me show you the, the contact flow which I have created uh, for this demo. So this is a QConnect uh, contact flow where I have added a very basic steps. So in order to have an Amazon Q work, you have to add uh, this particular block and you need to make sure that you have enabled the, the speech analytics and real time and post call analytics. After that, uh, you can click on save and come to the amazon q connect and you have to make sure that you are selecting the domain which you have created uh, in the previous steps and after that click on save so this this will complete all the setups and here your amazon q is ready uh, you can test it out by typing a question so for an example let's say how to reset my password and it should be able to give you the solution from the documentation which you have uploaded to an S3. So this will complete the demo.